Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a divided bar chart in views. This is a chart we already made in Excel and we saw there was a few extra steps to get a simple one going. The same is going to be true in views, although we'll have to take a few different steps than we did in Excel. Nevertheless, it's a useful sort of plot to be able to make, and so let's have a look at how to do it. Here again is views as it loads up for me. As before, it may look different than what you're used to seeing. And that's because I have a default set of preferences loaded in for this viewing area. Let's go ahead and just make it big. So I'll go view, zoom to page. I've already loaded some data into here and it's information about the top five medal winners at the Tokyo Olympics that we had most recently. This data looks like this. So I have something called positions, one, two, three, four, five. We'll see why in a moment, but this is also, we could say rankings, the team name, the number of bronze, silver, and gold medals won, as well as the total medals won. What we'd like to do maybe is have a divided bar chart where we have the total medals displayed, but inside of that, it's broken down by the bronze, silver, and gold. So let's see how to do that inside of views. Returning back to views, we want to make a bar chart. So let's just make sure we're inside graph. I can insert a bar chart as we did before. It gives me both an X and a Y axis. Then I have lengths. If I do something as simple as just uh, select total metals, I'll get bars with the bars at position one, two, three, four, and five. Again, we'll come back to how to fix that later. I think a lot of times we don't want bars that are vertical. We know that horizontal is better, especially when we're trying to add in labels. So I can just go to direction, horizontal, and this goes from smallest to largest. Sometimes we want to have largest to smallest. I think the easiest way to fix that here is just to have the minimum value be, let's say five and a half. So it runs to this value here and then the maximum value be half. So let's see what that looks like. 5.5 and then 0 0.5. Now I have the bars going the other way. Essentially, I'm just running the axis the opposite direction. And I do it by putting in different min and max values. Next, this is the total that we have for these metals. What I would like to do is somehow divide this up. Now, views doesn't really let you do that straight out of the gate. So instead, what we're going to actually do is make a new bar chart that we put on top of this that simply draws the distance to all the bronze and silver medals that we've won. And then on top of that, we'll put the bronze medals we've won. And we'll see at the end of this, it'll give us what we're interested in. So what this is right now is total, um, but really what it's gonna represent for us is gold medals. So I'm just gonna write gold medals. Whoops. And I'll remind myself as total. And we'll see again why this is hopefully as we go along. What I want now is to introduce a new bar that stretches from how many bronze and silvers we've won. That data is not present here, so we need to go back in and add that. So I'm just gonna simply go back into Excel. I'm gonna say bronze plus silver, and then I'm gonna add up bronze and silver counts, and then double click here to calculate that for all of them. Go ahead and save this. Once I've saved it, I go back to views, I refresh, and now I should have access to that number. I'm going to say uh, copy and paste because this is basically already set up how I want it to be. The only difference is instead now I want bronze plus silver. We can name it bronze plus silver. We can go to formatting and change the color slightly. So instead of being filled with red, let's have it be filled with a gray color. Why can't I see it? I have bronze plus silver and gold medals. Well, the reason why is because the way that views draws things is that the item that is on the top is the item drawn first. So let me click on this and we need to reorder it. In order to reorder things in views, we use these arrows. I'm just gonna say move selected widget up. And now we see I have gray on top of blue. This used to be red. Why is that? It's because bef 
before, Views was having this change automatically. I don't want it to be automatic. And so let's go ahead and change it to be something that looks like gold. Here's cantaloupe. Let's see if we like how cantaloupe looks. Does it look kind of goldish? Maybe not quite. And if we wanted to be really precise, we could go in and we could find hex values that are associated with the color gold and put it in. But for now, I think this probably is just fine. So now we have bronze and silver, and perhaps you can see what's going on. I have the bronze and silver medals that I've won, and then I have the gold medals I've won on top of that, just by how we're breaking this apart. So you might be able to guess that the next thing we're gonna do is just copy and paste this and make this just the bronze medals that we own or have won. I need this to be a color that reminds me a little bit of bronze. How about tangerine, I guess, for right now. I can't see it because it's on the bottom of this stack, so everything's being drawn on top of it. I'm just gonna move this up two positions and then change its value to be bronze count. And now what you can see is that I have bronze bars, silver bars, and gold bars. It looks a little funny because the x-axis is running from non-zero which is sort of a problem for us in our bar charts, but easy to fix by going to the X value and saying, no, I want you to start at zero. It re automatically resizes this to go to 125. I don't think we need to do that. We can go to 120 and everything will just fit fine. Then I have everything by tens. I don't really like how many minor tick marks I have. And again, we can correct that by just going to the number of minor tick marks and changing this from 20 probably to something like 12 would be fine. And now I have them at 0, 10, 20. What I have over here also doesn't really make any sense. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but we'd like to have labels. Under Y, what I can say is that this mode is not numeric. This mode is labels. Then under these charts, I could say, what are the labels? Labels are the team. This didn't appear, let's see why. And you can see that having this run as labels causes major problems if we want to reverse the direction of this graph the way we did here. Another way to do it is to say that the min position is at 1 and the max position is at 0. And then what that has done is also reverse the direction, but it's done so while maintaining our ability to have labels here. And so I would just say if you're worried about whether you want to show labels or not, always go down and have mix, min and max positions swapped like this. But a lot of times for me it makes better sense to have min and max just changed here. I don't know, you can go back and forth, um, but it's good to see what's going on. We don't need all these minor tick marks, and so I'll just go ahead and go in and hide those here um, under the axis label. And now I simply have each country labeled, I have bronze, silver, and gold. Of course, we could add in more labels to label these colors. That's not really the point of this particular video which is just showing us how we can use multiple stacked bars in order to yield something that looks like a divided bar chart. Essentially, again, just to reiterate what's going on, I have a plot that's a bar chart for just the bronze, a plot that is a bar chart for the bronze plus silver, but part of this is being hidden by the bronze, which is on top of the bronze plus silver chart then those both are being drawn on top of the gold medals, which is the total medals. And so all that we see anymore is what's left, left over as the gold. And that yields a plot that looks like this. And with that, we're done with this somewhat quick video that just illustrates how we can construct divided bar charts in views. It also is an introduction to the idea that views uses stacking, where the top widget is the thing that's being drawn on top of everything else. And that ordering is good to be aware of. And with that, hopefully you have some fun making divided bar charts in views.